Hey guys, Andrew Thruston here with PJ Hussey. I wanted to walk you through an eight unit property we have uh, under renovation out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Follow me, I'm gonna walk you through a few of our, you know, before, during, and after units. As you get a glimpse for a lot of the, the trenches that are done out here in the front of the property, you can see that we're getting ready to set new fencing and redefine what this common, you know, this common area looks like. So we're gonna be setting some columns with some in, inlaid metal design work. So it's gonna be an extremely modern look. Can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. Let me show you what this two bedroom looks like. So as you can see, as we, we scan around here, the, there used to be walls that came down here and closed this entire space off, which again is just not the design or the style that we're looking for at all. So we completely opened this up. We installed the large beam overhead to make sure that you know we had the proper structural integrity of the space. And we've taken the kitchen from what used to be very small in this area, and we've expanded it all the way down and created a peninsula, opening the space up again with the tall cabinets, which just really sets the unit off. I think you guys will love the finished product. Follow me down for what we did in the bathroom. Before I talk to you about the bathroom, one of the things that we've redesigned in here, keeping in mind you know, the same type of scenario is, you know, extra closet space for bicycles, extra closet space for those types of outdoor living activity, uh, things that a lot of folks keep in this part of the valley. As you can see, there will be a stackable washer and dryer in this space, along with that wall-mounted water heater, allowing for quite a bit more space for bicycles and things. Let me show you what we've done in the bathroom. So instead of taking the bathroom in this two-bedroom unit, which is over 750 square feet, and leaving it as a small space like it is, we wanted to add a little bit more room in this particular unit. So we've taken the sink and we're gonna expand it almost to the edge of where the toilet is, relocating the toilet into the corner of the bathroom. And if we spin around here, I can show you that I'm now standing where the new tub is going to be. So we've, we've reframed this section of the bathroom off, taking the bathtub and putting it over here, again, doing tile floor to ceiling and expanding this space in, into having quite a bit more counter space, which is exactly what we need when you're dealing with this size unit specifically with the two bedrooms. Let me show you what one of these looks like now that we're almost finished. One thing I wanna point out, just so you guys can see the level of detail that we go for a lot of our clients, is we have furred out all of the masonry walls so that you don't have that aged look you know, when you come into this space. By doing that, it's gonna give you that smooth, proper finish for the units, and you're not gonna feel like you're in a remodeled old building you're gonna feel like it's a new, you know, vibrant space. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the same floor plan that we just walked, and this is what I'm referring to as having a very nice modern finish. As you can see behind me, the beams and the cabinets and the kitchen is extremely open. You know, we've used the tall cabinetry floor to ceiling here, uh, just expanding on the space in a tremendous way. Let me show you what we're talking about with the bathrooms. If you take a quick peek in here, you can see that we've done exactly the, the stackable washers and dryers and the wall-mounted gas water heaters. And as you come around the corner, you can see the elongated cabinetry. The toilet will be set on this side, and we're gonna have this, this gorgeous floor-to-ceiling porcelain tile with the, the shower, which is just really sets the unit off and exactly what we were going for in our space. Guys, I wanted to show you what we're doing in the back end of the property. So we're, we're not leaving any stone unturned. We're making sure we're getting all of the details taken care of. As you can scan down here, we're gonna completely level all of this off. We're gonna grade this down to smooth dirt and we're gonna reinstall a brand new asphalt parking lot with covered parking for all of our residents. Let me show you what we've done with our electrical panels as well. As you can see here, we've replaced all of the electrical panels on the, on the buildings. By replacing these electrical panels, we wanna make sure that we keep the residents and the investors safe, and we have a good long-term investment for these guys. If there's something that you would like to have renovated in the Valley, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm Andrew Thruston with PJ Hussey Construction, and we're here to serve you.